It looks like I've chose the busiest country road in the f world to do this video. Morning guys, it's me. Uh, right, something different today. I'm gonna do an instructional video for you. And there's a reason for it. I think this could possibly save some people's lives or at least get you out of danger. So I think this is something very important and you need to pin your ears back and listen. It's Sunday today. I seem to do all my videos on a Sunday. I think it's mainly because I like saying the word Sunday in an Australian accent. At least once a week, I recover somebody off the side of the road or in the middle of the road whose clutch has failed. And I say to them, do you remember Martin? Martin, prime example, bless him. Martin's in here now. He, his clutch had failed and he'd basically been in a, in a traffic jam and he, he'd ultimately just stopped, stopped dead in the third lane of a three lane motorway. As a result of it, he was in quite a dangerous position, so much so that the police stuck a rope on the front of his car and towed him into a services to get him out of the way. So. I get this quite a lot and I say to people, do you know you can actually drive a car with no clutch, but there's a technique to it and you just need to know the technique. And loads of people go to me, can you? Well, yeah, you can. So I thought, do you know what? This is obviously something that is not being passed on. You, you wouldn't learn about this in your driving lessons, would you? It's something that I think people should know about because imagine you're stuck in like a, a really dangerous position. This technique will just get you out of the shit and you can, you can move yourself to a place of safety. If you're really good at it, you could just drive yourself home if you get good at it. But why not now practice it? So while you're driving along now, watch this video, learn the technique, watch it a couple of times if you want, start practicing these techniques. I hope this helps somebody learn the technique and it might just get you out of trouble, but it also might save you a few quid and you won't need to use me, but what I would suggest you do is use it to get yourself into a position of safety. If you find yourself in a position where you're stuck or you know, you're, you're in an unsafe position, remember this technique because it could save you, okay? Right, let's get on with it. A few days ago, I put a post out on social meds, on social meds, special meds. I put a post out saying, can, somebody, can anybody lend me a car for this video? And it's absolute legend. In fact, if you've watched my videos, do you remember the guy who I flashed at? Oh, I waved at when I was on, on that road and I was like, if that was you, let me know in the comments. I don't know who that was in that car, but if it's you, give us a comment. It's that car. So the guy has come forward and he's been like, yeah, that was me. He's lent me his car. I've just had a chat with him for like 10 minutes, right? Absolute legend, knows his stuff, great mechanic. And I'm taking this as it's my first sponsored video. So this video is sponsored by, <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal now. Right, ready for this? <laughs> Look at this weapon. So. Renzuki Vehicle Services. So the guy is called Nathan, absolute legend. He has lent me his uh, courtesy car for his company. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this bad boy. But yeah, do you know what? If you need anything, Renault or Suzuki specialist, absolute legend of a mechanic. I spoke to him for five minutes and I was like, this guy absolutely knows what he's talking about. We are gonna get on the road. Right guys, welcome to the middle of nowhere, right? So I've come out into the middle of Lincolnshire, middle of nowhere, and we're gonna do some lesson. So the first thing I want you to do is we're gonna break this whole exercise, we're gonna break it down into two parts, right? So you've got coming out of the gear that you're in and then going into the new gear, right? So it's a two-part exercise. Obviously, when you change gear normally, like this, foot on the clutch, change gear, foot off the clutch, you're achieving one thing, which is you're changing gear. When you do it without a clutch, you're effectively doing two separate stages, right? So one is you're coming out of gear that you're in and then you have to go into the new gear. When you're accelerating and driving along, the gearbox is under load, okay? So think of it that the gearbox, there's a force going through that gearbox. When I let my foot off the accelerator and I'm slowing down, like engine braking, there's also a force on the gearbox. So it's like a positive force accelerating and then a negative force decelerating. The point right in the middle of that where it shifts from a positive force to a negative force, that floaty bit, that is what we want to deselect our gear, okay? So that sort of float, floater, we're gonna have a bit of a floater, and that is where we deselect our gear. So at the minute, I am driving along in fourth gear, right? Now, I've got my foot on the accelerator, if I push that gear stick forward, put some force, like a tiny bit of force, it isn't coming out because there is a positive force on that gearbox. If I let my foot off, magpie, if I let my foot off the accelerator, and I push that gear stick, 
we've got a negative force on the gearbox so it's not going to let me out of the gear either however watch what happens if i keep that same force so i keep that forward force on the gear stick i'm in fourth gear if i accelerate and then let off the accelerator look at that same force i didn't change the force just keep the same force on the gear stick wait a minute this is a cool little car man i like it also nathan has kindly left me some business cards to show you who sponsored this video and supplied the vehicle renzuki class name like it see what you did there fourth gear let's do that again fourth gear foot is off the clutch look there's my foot fourth gear I'm accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. I just give a dub of accelerator, and as I let off the accelerator, that float, that floaty bit between positive and negative force on the gearbox, that is where it will let us out of the gear. And you can practice that. So wait, as you're driving along, I want you to practice that. Practice that technique. You can do it in every gear. So look, I'll do it in third this time. So look, third gear now. Accelerate, 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 off. And it just pops out of gear. It'll just pop out. As long as you keep the same force on, so fifth gear accelerate accelerate let off the accelerator and it pops out so that's our first stage right and every gear will do that you load up the box with a positive pressure accelerate then you switch to the negative which is engine braking by taking your foot off the accelerator and all that happens if you keep a small amount of force on that gear stick it will pop out a gear i promise you so fifth fifth gear and we're out so that's the first thing practice that as you're driving along if you're bored whatever breaks up the day instead of sitting in and watching netflix you could go out and deselect gears <laughs> i don't know but what you want to do is not put too much pressure on the gear stick imagine this is your kid doing its gcse's right you don't want to put too much pressure on it because you'll break it you don't want to be like oh your kid tying his shoelaces you just want to give it that little bit of love a little bit of guidance show it what it wants and it will just it will just do it you just got to just got to give it that little bit of little bit of pressure but nothing major hopefully you're uh, following along so far and you've practiced that so go out practice it practice coming out of your gear now comes the more complicated bit right so this is the second part of the exercise which is ultimately trying to get it into gear without the clutch now that's a little bit more difficult so what you need to do is imagine so at the moment right here's a prime example I'm doing 30 mile an hour and my revs are uh, bang on 2000 rpm in fourth gear so i know that if i'm not in a gear so if i'm not in a gear and i'm just cruising along and i'm doing 30 mile an hour if i get those revs to 2000 rpm that gear stick will just go into fourth gear it will just slot in just put that little bit of pressure on right so i'm going to rev it up to 2000 oh look at that it just slots in no grinding no graunching i've just matched the engine revs with the speed that i'm going at and the speed for that gear if i wanted third gear so if i wanted third gear i'd have to rev it a little bit higher well i don't necessarily know what what exactly what rpm that would be but say i'm driving along now fourth gear and i want to go down to third gear so there's two parts to it remember so i'm doing 26 mile an hour in a nice little country village enjoying the scenery I want to come out of fourth that's the first stage so bit of pressure accelerate let go out of gear so we're now in neutral so now what I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of revs I've revved it up so the rev counter has gone up and as it's coming back down nice and slowly I just keep that little bit of pressure on the third gear slot just keep it there and poof, it just pops in when the revs are right it'll just pop into gear as you get a bit better at this what you'll do is so i can go from fourth now i'll slot out of fourth and i'll go straight and hold the pressure on the fifth gear gate on the slot for fifth gear and as the revs fall down naturally will start to come down as it gets to the point where the fifth gear matches the revs it'll just slot in so i just have to hold that little bit of pressure watch so fourth out of fourth hold it oh and it just slotted straight in but that's because the, the ratios are quite close together so fourth to fifth absolutely and you'll see my, my clutch foot doesn't move hopefully this is making sense it takes a bit of practice but you know what it's a great skill to have it's a great skill and it'll get you out of trouble when that clutch pedal all of a sudden disappears to the floor and you've got no clutch and you're stuck in the middle of nowhere two o'clock in the morning and you'll wait you you know you could be sat there all night waiting for the rac 
Well, actually, if you can just get yourself home, this is a great technique to know. This gearbox is lovely, it's perfect for this. Cheers for this, Nathan. I can tell you what, the car's perfect for it. And I'm having a nice little jolly around the Lincolnshire countryside. Look at that. <laughs> wow. The problem is, right, I know what you're all gonna ask. How do you stop and start? Well, do you know what? Yeah, it does get a little bit more complicated and I'm only gonna do this once. I'm gonna do it one time because it isn't the best for the car. It's mechanically not very sympathetic to do this, but say we have to come to a stop. So we're now on our emergency mission to get ourselves home and we wanna to come to a stop. This is how you do it, right? So I'm gonna pull up on the left here and I'm gonna stop. But what I'm gonna do is just come out of gear first. So I'm in neutral. I'm gonna pull over on the left here. How do I start? So imagine we've, we're sat in a traffic jam or we're sat in a, in, a, in a vulnerable position and all of a sudden our clutch pedal has died or our clutch cable snapped or whatever, our clutch pedal's on the floor and we're sat there and we're blocking a whole road like I am now, right? I'm blocking this road and I need to move. I, I feel vulnerable, I'm in an awkward position. Well, what seems to happen is people just sort of sit there and wait or they, they try and get people to help push them. But if you're on a third lane of a motorway, you probably can't do that. So I'm gonna show you and we're gonna drive away from here. I'm only gonna do this once. Ultimately, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select first gear. I'm gonna take my handbrake off so that I'm ready. Ignition on. That's telling me I need fuel, which I'm gonna go and do in a minute, put some fuel in for him. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the key. As I turn the key, the car is gonna lurch forward because we're in first gear. Once the car is moving, I'm gonna let go of the key and we, that's us running. And we then start our process of just going up through the gear. Right, I'm gonna do this once. Right, ready? Look at that. So I've turned the key. It's just kicked us into life. We're going now, we're moving. We're in first gear. This, the car is moving on its own. And now what I'm gonna do is up through the gears. So my clutch foot isn't gonna move. Into second. Out of second, into third third into fourth hopefully that's highlighted to you that do you know what we're now moving along at you know 18 20 30 we could go you know we can just drive normally really up through the gears but we've done that from a standstill i'm only done i've only done it once just to show you but it is possible to drive a car and to move a car under its own steam if you know the technique and it's really worth learning it it's worth learning that technique Practice it, practice it, and practice it. Tell people about it, because there's so many people that don't know. Look at this for a road. Who signed that off? Uh, right, so we're back. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. I've messed my air up with my stupid uh, head mount. I think I've got the camera indentation in my forehead as well. The things I do for you, eh? I hope you found that useful. I, I truly believe in this skill. It's a skill that people should know about, and um, remember, you can start off, you know that. You know when you've left it in gear and you turn the key? We've all done it, haven't we? And it jerks forward. That's what you're doing, but you keep the key turned and, you, and you'll get going. It will get you out of trouble if you need it. You could continue your whole journey. It's all about anticipating. So if you see stuff slowing down in front of you, if you see some traffic lights are on red in front of you, slow right down. Get into second, slow right down so that you don't have to stop. If you can master this skill, I promise you, it will save you money because you won't have to call someone like me to come and stick you on the back of my truck. Uh, but also, it could get you out of danger. And there are people that have died because they can't, because they're stranded in their car, they're stuck on the side of the motorway or whatever. And do you know what? If this video helps one person get them out of a vulnerable position, I'm not saying saving people's lives, but probably will. Seriously, if it gets one person out of a vulnerable position, then great. Do you know what? My Sunday, Sunday down here has not been wasted. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time on the channel and you've not seen any of our other stuff, you might want to watch the police one I did. So that was an advice one. I'll put a, a link to it up there. Which side will it be? Up there. So there'll be a link up there to the police one in a minute. Uh, watch that one. Um, it's a decent bit of advice. It'll set, that'll save you money. But I'm here ultimately, you know, we do loads of stuff on this channel. Pulling people out of ditches, restoring transit vans with massive V8 engines in them. But yeah, stick around, subscribe. Uh, it'd be great to have you along. 
thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't look before you leave What you give, you get to keep So long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for the lost old eyes